In this video, I'm going to share with you three fast and easy ways to host a multiplayer game server like one built with Glesius without having to know anything about Bash, Linux, Nginx, SSL, firewalls, or port forwarding, and most importantly, not wasting hours doing work that doesn't make your game more fun. Because if you're like me, then setting up servers from scratch is not something that's on your list of favorite activities. Configuring permissions, managing SSL certificates, creating a deployment pipeline, or otherwise wandering around AWS or some other cloud provider like you're lost. I just want a service to take my code and then give me back a URL and ideally automatically redeploy each time I push changes or just give me a button to push. If I end up 39 tabs deep looking for a solution to a problem that no one else seems to be having, then I took a horrible turn somewhere. After we look at these three services, I'll share how you can use a combination of them for the best developer experience and lowest cost. First up is Arena, which is the official Calisius cloud hosting solution. The service is fairly new, but it is built specifically for Calisius and will handle all the requirements of a multiplayer game server. The other two solutions that I'll be sharing are more polished, but they are general purpose solutions with caveats that you'll have to keep in mind. Arena has a free plan that you can use to give it a test run as a development environment or in production when your game is new and there's only a limited number of people connected at any given time. The free plan allows you to deploy by uploading the files through the UI, but any paid plans will also let you connect your Git repository to make the process more streamlined. Uploaded code will only get deployed when you click the deploy button. This lets you stage changes until the right time, which is perfect for games in production where you want control of exactly when changes should take effect. If you have an older Calisius project that was created before it came with Arena settings, then there's three things you need to do. Add an arena.config.ts file that breaks up what you were already doing into these different functions. Make sure the built output is structured in a way where there is an arena.config and package.json at the root. Move any logic or configuration out of your index file since it will not be run when deployed to arena. The easiest way to create a new Calisius project is to use the Calisius app package like this. Arena is a great option, but if you'd like something that has a free plan, and automatically deploys changes so that you can have a snack or walk your dog, then meet Render. This is a general purpose hosting solution and most people are using it for APIs, microservices, schedulers, databases, and not a multiplayer game server, but there's nothing stopping you from doing so. To start, you can connect your GitHub or GitLab account and then select which repository you'd like to use. You'll notice that the UI is a bit more sleek than Arena, but you'll need to include a bit more information about your project in the build and start commands section. And for some reason, Render's deploy process doesn't automatically run npm install, so you'll need to include it in your build command. Then every time you push a change, Render will automatically redeploy. You can also turn this feature off if you want more control. One thing to note about Render's free plan is that services will be automatically shut down after some period of inactivity and then automatically restart it when someone makes a request to it. This will result in some cold boot time that can add an extra 30 seconds to the processing of the first request. If that's a problem, then there's DigitalOcean's app platform, but it doesn't have a free option. What it does have is the cheapest price at $5 versus $10 for Arena and $7 for Render. The setup is basically the same as Render where you connect your Git account and then pick a repository. App Platform will auto detect the type of project and then provide some defaults for build and start, but you'll likely have to make some changes. Unlike Render, App Platform will automatically run npm install, which is what you'd expect. So you don't need to specify it. Auto deployments are on by default, but you can turn them off just like Render. But unlike Render and Arena, App Platform uses an older version of Node that doesn't support the output using the default project settings from the official Calisius project. There's two ways to solve this. You can change your TS config or specify a specific Node version in your package JSON like this. The result and pricing is largely identical to creating a droplet, except you don't have to do any of the configuration yourself. Once deployed, you'll get a URL just like Arena and Render. Now, I really like a continuous deployment pipeline when I'm developing so that any changes I push up get magically deployed. 
But if you don't care about that, then Arena is actually all you need. If you do want automatic deploys because you're a lazy developer or whatever, then Render's free plan is pretty good. And the 30 second cold boot delay may not be a problem for you. If the delay is a problem, then DigitalOcean's app platform is the most affordable option for automatic deploys and no cold boot issues. However, if you choose to scale horizontally, meaning with multiple servers, on Render or DigitalOcean, then there will be more work since you'll need a Redis and MongoDB instance, as well as a dynamic proxy to properly route players to the right servers. The simple solution is to use Arena when you get to a place where you need to scale, or just always use Arena in production, since there is probably no one who understands running Calesius in production better than the people who make it. And then use Render or App Platform for the, at least for now, better developer experience, I'm sure Arena will eventually have these niceties as well. Now you've got options for easily deploying a multiplayer game server. But if you want to learn more about making games with Calesius, then check out this video over here.